second? I'll second it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, so the minutes are approved by unanimous consent. Um, let's look at today's agenda. Hopefully you've had a chance to look at that before we start. Uh, do I have an, anyone have an objection to approving the agenda as it is presented? If no, it will be approved by unanimous consent. And we don't think we have any public comments this morning. No, okay. The first item this morning on the agenda is for us to hear about the critical needs subjects and, and the schools for employment of retired educators for 24-25. <coughs> um, who's doing that? Michael. Okay. Good morning. My name is Michael Carruthers. I work in the Office of Educator Services. Based on South Carolina retirement law, the state board designates areas of critical need and critical geographic need for the employment of retired certified teachers. These teachers will be exempt from earnings and limitations. Last month, the State Board of Education approved the critical needs subject areas and geographic areas for 2024 for the purpose of the SC Teacher Loan Forgiveness Program. The subject areas and geographic areas identified and approved by the State Board of Education in February are the basis of the information in this spreadsheet. The geographic area information has been expanded to include all schools in supermajority districts. Critical need academic areas for the employment of retired educators will be the critical need subject areas identified and approved by the State Board on February 13, 2024, for the purpose of South Carolina teacher loan, uh, the teacher loan program. Critical need geographic areas for the employment of retired teachers will include all of the following. The schools identified and approved by the State Board on February 13, 2024, for the purpose of the South Carolina Teacher Loan Program. Any additional schools in any school district in which at least 67% of the schools meet the criteria to qualify as a critical need geographic area for the purpose of the South Carolina's teacher loan program and all career and technical education centers statewide. Thank you. Are there any questions? Questions of Michael? Do I have a motion to approve the critical needs of schools and subjects for 24-25? I make a motion that we approve the identified areas of critical academic need and critical geographic need for the 24-25 for the employment of retired certified teachers. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have a second? Board Member Harrington second. Uh, are there any other questions? All those in favor? Signify aye. by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. We have a few items for information. And I think Mary is doing that for us this morning. Good morning. I am pinch hitting for Jackie Walsh this morning, who was unable to join us. Um, I think you're familiar with our protocol for bringing you notifications from the Professional Review Committee on a quarterly basis. Um, these are programmatic changes that do not have to come to the board for approval. Um, they fall under a threshold. However, we do provide this as information to you. So just wanted to walk you through several of the changes that have been presented to um, our office and to the Professional Review Committee. Um, Limestone University has um, notified us that they will terminate their bachelor's program leading to certification in English education. Um, they do not have any candidates enrolled in that program any longer and are um, sunsetting that program. Uh, Net APT, which is the alternative route program um, through U Winthrop University, um, originally approved for partnership in Chester, um, York uh, one, two, and three, 
and then Fairfield and Kershaw. Um, they are expanding that partnership to include um, the Fort Mill School District, so they'll be working with all districts in, in York County. Um, they're expanding to include um, Chesterfield and Lancaster as well. LEAP, which is the alternative program in Beaufort County, they are making two changes to that program. Um, currently, they certify in middle level and high school math and science. They are adding middle level and high school social studies based on needs in the district. Um, they are also, they require a, two, a minimum 2.5 GPA for program admission. They are going to concentrate that so that that 2.5 is required in the core content classes. So they really want to ensure that their candidates are well prepared in that content area and they're most concerned about those courses. Converse University has uh, notified um, us and the PRC of adjustments to their MAT <coughs> programs. Um, they are reducing the overall number of hours in their programs. Um, typically, most master's degree programs that we review in our office are somewhere between 30 and 36 hours. And you'll see the changes that Converse is making to several of their programs to align more with those, those, that range. Southern Wesleyan is combining two um, PE courses into one three-hour course for their majors in that PE um, certification program. And finally, Teach Charleston is going to um, add additional training sessions. Typically, they do their biggest pre-service program in the summer before teachers enter the classroom, but because of needs in their district, they're actually going to add two additional pre-service trainings in the academic year as they continue to recruit candidates to fill needs in the district. So, and those are the changes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. In the case of Converse, are they increasing the number of hours or decreasing it? In order They're decreasing to the number of hours in those programs to better align with most of the other master's degrees in their institution and, and typically that we see. So. Thank you. Um, from Kimberly Kelso, we have some an update on the annual report on individuals certified through American Board. Hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is Kimberly Kelso, and I'm the program coordinator for Alternative Route Programs with the Office of Educator Services. Today, I'm going to um, present EP items three, four, and five. Um, these are annual reports for three of the alternative programs that I currently oversee. Um, each of these reports are presented as information to the State Board of Education, and as required, um, they are to be submitted to the General Assembly no later than March 31st, 2024. So for EP item three, um, that's the annual report on individuals certified through the American Board Program. Um, this annual report is required as part of the American Board for the Certification of Teacher Excellence Act. Um, this report provides employment and performance data for American Board candidates issued an alternative route certificate during the 22 through 23 school year, the most recent year for which complete information is available. In total, 80 American Board participants were issued an alternative route certificate during the 2022 through 2023 school year with this program. This includes first, second, and third year participants. <coughs> Would you like me to move to item number four, too? Is, are there any questions? No. If not, then yes, ma'am. OK. Yes. Um, so EP item four is um, the annual report for individuals certified through the Teach for America program. And Teach for America is another alternative route program. Um, it is the annual report um, issued pursuant to State Board of Education Regulation 4351 under certification reply, re requirements. This report um, provides employment and performance data for those Teach for America candidates issued an alternative route certificate during the last school year. In total, 59 Teach for America participants were issued the alternative route certificate last school year, and this includes first, second, third, and extension year participants. 
Could I ask just one thing? Is there a part of the state that that is utilized more often than other parts of the state? It seems yes. like the statistics that I saw kind of indicated that. Yes, ma'am. Um, so Teach for America works with specific partnership school districts. Um, they mostly work in the PD region and the low country. Yeah. Any other questions? Not? We'll move right along. All right. The last item I'm here to present is EP item five, the annual report on individuals certified through Teachers of Tomorrow. Um, so this annual report is provided pursuant to State Board of Education Regulation 4351. Um, this report provides employment and performance data for Teachers of Tomorrow candidates issued an alternative route certificate during the 22 through 23 school year. In total, 434 Teachers of Tomorrow participants were issued the Alternative Route Certificate last school year. And this includes first, second, third, and extension year participants in that program. Any questions? All right, thank you. Thank you. We accept all that as information today. Uh, is there a motion to place the action item that we previously talked about, that Michael talked about, on the consent agenda? I'll move. Is there a second? I'll move. Second. And a second. Okay. All in favor will... Yes, ma'am. The name. The name. Uh, Mr. Harrington made the motion and Chrissy Stapleton seconded. All in favor by saying aye. Aye. Motion. Aye. Anyone opposed? No. The motion carries. Any other business? Just, just so question. you're aware, you've got Maya online as well. She voted in the affirmative. Yes, she's online. Oh, okay. No. I'm Let me ask you a question, up. Rita. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Maya. Can, can you can you generally explain the difference between? Teach for America and, and uh, Teachers for Tomorrow, those two programs. Nobody want to do that? I think I know, but I'm not sure. Teach for America is a national organization um, approved in South Carolina, actually through a state board item um, back in 2010. Um, Teach for America is different than other alternative route programs in the sense that that program really focuses on a two-year commitment. So those are candidates. Um, and historically, the organization has tried to recruit highly skilled college students, grad, recent graduates, um, to do a two-year commitment in a high-need school. After that two-year commitment, they may leave the profession. Um, there is a provision in the guidelines approved by this board that allows those candidates, if they choose, to pursue a professional certificate. So in that sense, it tracks like other alt-route programs. Um, most participants in Teach for America fulfill their two-year commitment as a core member and then don't continue on um, in school districts. So, but they use teacher prep for those kids. No, they no, are no not. They, we do have some candidates in that program who have done a teacher prep program. But they, de they decide they want to do Teach for America for that experience, moving to maybe to another part of the country, that kind of thing. Um, so a few of them have teacher prep programs at the undergraduate level. Um, but I think Kim will tell you most of those candidates have not had a teacher prep program. So they do get pretty intensive um, preparation in that summer prior to going into the classroom. Teachers of Tomorrow was approved through state board regulation. Um, and don't ask me the date because it's going to escape me. Right, It's gone out the window. Um, that program is our sole for-profit program, Teachers of Tomorrow, um, is approved in a number of states, originally or originated in Texas. Um, but they are statewide. So whereas Teach for America is only in partner districts, Teachers of Tomorrow can actually work with candidates in, in districts across the state. And so after PACE, that's the largest of our programs. And they certify and prepare candidates in the same areas that PACE do. Like PACE and like other alternative route programs, those candidates have an academic major 
in the subject area they are teaching, but they've not had the teacher prep program at the collegiate level. They are pursuing that as they are teaching. There's no other business. Does anyone would like to make a motion that we adjourn? I make a motion we adjourn. Second. Here. Second. Second. All those in favor, say aye. aye. Thank you. Thank you.